This is a tougher question than what you have seen before. But it's also very much doable. In the table below, the check marks indicate all languages spoken by five people. Paula, Quentin, Robert, Sally, and Terence. So P, Q, R, S, T, I like that. The languages are also A, B, C, D, E, F. Arabic, Basque, Chinese, Dutch, English, and French. Right, so A, B, C, D, E, and F. Paula speaks two of these. Quentin speaks two. Robert speaks two. Sally speaks two. And Terence speaks two. Wonderful. Right. These five people form three teams. T1, T2, and T3. Each team has either two or three members. Right? They definitely overlap across the team. A team is said to speak a particular language if at least one of its members speaks that language. The following facts are known. Each team speaks exactly four languages and has the same number of members. This is very useful. I'm thinking this will be very useful. Exactly four languages. English and Chinese are spoken by all three teams. Basque and French by exactly two teams. And the other languages, so that is Arabic, A, B, C and Dutch by exactly one team. None of the teams include both Quentin and Robert. Paula and Sally are together in exactly two teams. Robert is in team one and Quentin is in team three. As ever, the last constraint gives us the best information. So I'm going to start with that. But I think this is going to be a fun set. And so the three teams, we don't know how many members are there in each team, but we know it's the same number of members. Each team speaks four languages, exactly four. Right. Team one, team two, team three. Robert is in team one. Quentin is in team three. All three teams speak English and Chinese, English and Chinese, English and Chinese. Right. Wonderful. Robert speaks Arabic. So team one will speak Arabic. Nobody else speaks Arabic and Arabic is spoken by only one team. So R is present in only one team. R is there in team one. Nowhere else can he be there. Likewise, Quentin speaks Dutch. So Dutch sits here. Quentin can be there in no other team. None of the teams include both Quentin and Robert. This is superfluous. We don't even need that. And so we put R in team one and Q in team three. We've also figured out the languages. And so English, Chinese. Robert speaks Arabic and French. Arabic and French will sit here. English, Chinese and Dutch will sit here. Brilliant. Now, in Arabic sits here, Dutch sits here. That means Arabic and Dutch have been accounted for. Each of them appears in only one team. And so think about team two, which four languages should be spoken here? Arabic and Dutch cannot be spoken here. So there'll be English, Chinese, French and Basque. Right. So which other teams can R and Q be a part of? No other team. R speaks Arabic, only one team speaks Arabic. Q speaks Dutch, only one team speaks Dutch. Right. So, so no, no, they cannot be part of any other team. Which languages are spoken by team two? English, Chinese, French and Basque. Right. So, so R and Q cannot be there in this team. And super. Now let's think about this. English, Chinese and Dutch are spoken here. What should be the fourth language here? So team two, we know English, Chinese, French and Basque, four languages. Team three has English, Chinese and Dutch. Dutch and Arabic can be present in only one. French and Basque are present in two. This has French and this has French. The Basque here, this should be Basque. Q brings in Dutch and English. We still need to bring in Chinese and Basque. Wonderful. So team three speaks Basque also. Team two should definitely include. So let's think about this. Team two speaks English, Chinese, French, Basque. Only one person speaks Basque. That is Sally. So Sally should definitely sit here. 
and team three also speaks basque so sally should sit here also wonderful now let's recap let's start with team two team two we have already accounted for dutch and english and sally speaks basque and english we still need to bring in chinese right chinese can come from either paula or terence but terence will bring with him french also so not terence only paula this is done terence cannot be here robert cannot be here so there are three people in team three and only three can be there so there are only three person per team super now let's look at team two team two includes sally sally brings with her basque and english so we need to have chinese and french chinese can come from paula or terence french can come from robert or terence but it cannot come from robert because robert will bring arabic also so it has to be terence so terence sits here team 2 has terence and sally sally brings basque and english terence brings chinese and french and so snt will be there snt account for all four languages we need a third person but we don't uh, we need to have a third person on the team but the third person need not bring a new language should not bring a new language should be bringing something out some two out of english chinese french and basque so far so good so let's let's focus on the paula and sally are together in exactly two teams what does this give us and so we still need paula and sally so this one has sally so as paula and sally let's see what paula and sally bring us together paula and sally paula brings chinese and english sally brings basque and english so basque chinese and english so basque has sense so this one cannot have snp so this will have pns so team 2 has to have p teams 2 and 3 have p and s brilliant now we've got team 2 and 3 completely done there's nobody here let's focus all our attentions on team 1 team 1 robert brings arabic and french arabic and french so we need to have english and chinese coming in and so it cannot english cannot come from q because q is not there q can be only in team 3 english cannot come from sally because sally will bring with her basque also therefore english has to come from paula english chinese arabic and french now there has to be a third member in team 1 the third member is not sally it's not quentin because quentin will bring with him dutch and sally will bring with her basque we don't want either therefore it has to be terence terence brings with him chinese and french both are already here with this we are through so team 1 has rtp team 2 has stp team 3 has qps brilliant now let's go to the questions who among the following four is not a member of team 2 team 2 sala is in sally is in paula is in terence is in quentin is not a part of team 2 quentin can only be in one team that is team 3 who among the following four people is a part of exactly two teams exactly two teams r is there in only one team q is there in only one team terence is there in two teams sally is there in two teams and paula is there in three teams 3 plus 2 plus 2 7 plus 1 plus 1 9 that works so the answer choice should be either terence or sally sally is there thankfully terence is not there answer choice is sally who among the five people is a member of all teams we just saw this paula is a member of all teams this paula sitting here here and here apart from chinese and english 
which languages are spoken by team 1 chinese and english arabic and french that's the answer that is choice b lovely set very doable uh, the key here is to start with arabic and dutch spoken by only one each that gives us r and q and r and q can be nowhere else if we figure out that there are to be three members in a team this automatically writes itself as tp because r and q cannot be here and so and then you go step by step methodically once we crack the languages stacking the teams is far simpler and so wonderful wonderful set once again very doable and so keep your bits with you these kind of questions are very solvable <laughs>